everyone, it's Mariana here from Positive and Possum. Welcome back to my channel. Now that you are more familiar with what service dogs can do, with the characteristics of what makes a successful service dog, and now that you have correctly collected and stored reliable migrant scent samples as shown in my previous videos, make sure to watch them, we can slowly start developing our dog's nose for scent training. So in this video, we'll be covering the first step of scent training, how to properly introduce our migrant scent sample to our dog. Just a heads up that this first step should be done in parallel to the second step covered in my next video on how to teach and expand the find it command. So make sure to watch both. If you're new here and are getting value from this video, please make sure you click on that thumbs up as it really helps me keep this channel going. Now let's get into it. Before we start training, I would just like to clarify four things. First, in these initial stages, we're aiming to first establish a regular short training routine once or twice a day for five to 10 minutes to build up anticipation in our dog for the training session. We'll then progress little by little over time to a point where we will be able to stimulate and integrate training into real daily life at random times and places. In these initial stages, the dog will perform better if hungry, so aim to train a bit before meal time. Second, as explained in one of my previous videos, the trainer's positive, supportive, and patient and excited attitude during training is essential as the dog does not have a clue of what we're expecting from him. You need to set the example and be very patient in these initial stages. Third, as previously mentioned in one of my first videos as well, aim to have a small order-free room with as little distraction as possible to train your dog in the first couple of weeks to set him up for success and allow him to concentrate more easily by associating that space with training time. Fourth, even if you think your dog already naturally alerts you without any serious training, I would still strongly encourage you to follow these training steps to ensure the dog understands what you're asking from him. I mean, you have lots to gain and nothing to lose. Now, it's all said and done, let the training begin. The first thing we want to do in our scent training is to introduce our migrant scent to the dog during regular meal time. This will allow the dog to slowly get used to the migrant scent we will be training him with. We will be doing the migrant scent introduction in four steps. What you want to do first is to buy a couple of paper plates or bowls like this. And in one of them, you should cut small holes on one side like this. Second, don't forget to wash your hands with unscented soap and we'll then make a little migrant scent sandwich by putting the paper plate with the holes on top followed by the scent and a regular paper plate on the bottom, like this. Third, we will with one hand add the dog's regular kibble little by little on top of the paper plate, but on the side of the plate without any holes, while holding the entire paper plate migraine sandwich with the other hand, like this. mentioned in my last video that scent samples will last for up to three periods of five minutes outside the freezer if you don't leave any residues with other smells on them. If it doesn't ring a bell at all, make sure to watch my previous video on how to collect and store a reliable scent sample as a refresher before moving forward to make sure that the sample you'll be using for training is valid. This is important because we will expose the dog to the scent many hundreds of times during the training process and mistakes in this stage can't always be undone in later stages. This piece of information on the sample's duration comes in handy here uh, because that's why we made all of the holes on the paper plate on the opposite side to where we are serving the kibble. So we can protect and reuse the migraine samples a couple of times. 
the idea here is for us to feed our dogs food with the migraine sample underneath it. So they start getting used to the idea that this migrant scent brings rewards and food. The fourth step is to repeat this way of feeding your dog for the next seven days. After your dog's third feeding session, it is important for you to start moving around the training room, changing places and positions. So start letting your dog know that the migrant smell is not static and won't always happen in the same position. And this is how you properly and slowly start introducing your dog to your migrant smell. As I mentioned at the beginning of this video, this is the first step and should be done in parallel to the second step covered in my next video on how to teach and expand the final command. So make sure you watch both. And as always, if you like this video and think it's worth a thumbs up, make sure to also hit the subscribe button as it really helps me keep this channel going. Thanks a lot and see you soon.